process of trying to conceive can have its ups and its downs, and I'm here to help you maintain a positive mindset throughout the process. The reality is that some women are able to conceive right away, while for others it can take a couple months, months, or even up to a year or more. In this video, I'm going to explain why reducing your stress levels is good for your health and your baby. I'm also going to share some tips that I've learned along the way throughout my own journey that can help you reduce your stress levels and maintain a positive mindset throughout this experience. Hello Primama, welcome to the Journey to Motherhood YouTube channel. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm Kaylee, the proud new mama of a beautiful baby girl. I'm also the host of this channel, and I'm here to help you prepare for your journey to parenthood. Before we get started, I'd love for you to join our Journey to Motherhood YouTube community by subscribing. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and select the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our new videos. The Primama team and myself have tons of tips and stories to share with you, and we're so grateful to be on this journey together. Okay, Primamas, I'm going to start off by saying that feeling stressed while trying to conceive is totally normal. Having a baby is an amazing feat and a pretty huge deal, so of course emotions are going to be running high during this stage of your life. That being said, our bodies and our minds are connected and our bodies can sense when we're feeling stress and this can make us resistant to creating new life. As a mother myself, I know how much pressure we place on ourselves. And on top of that, there's the added pressures from our partners, our family, and our friends. Your mental health can have a huge impact on your physical health, which is why it's so important to stay positive and reduce your stress levels while you're trying to conceive. While a little bit of stress is totally normal, maintaining a low stress level is ideal while trying to conceive and can impact your health in multiple ways. You might be shocked to know that your stress levels can actually impact your fertility. Alpha amylase is an enzyme that indicates levels of stress, and studies have shown that women whose saliva tested high for alpha amylase took 29% longer to become pregnant than women that had low levels of stress. It's kind of crazy to think about how much our minds can influence our bodies. Our bodies trigger a fight or flight response during extremely stressful situations, which shuts down any systems that aren't necessary for survival. One of those systems happens to be the reproductive system, which is why finding ways to manage your stress while you're trying to conceive is so important. Our bodies also respond to stress by producing the hormone cortisol. This can disrupt the signal between our ovaries and our brain and ultimately disrupt ovulation. This is why women who have experienced prolonged levels of stress have also reported delayed ovulation or no cycles at all. Chronic stress also reduces your body's ability to fight off antigens. And this can lead to high blood pressure as well as heart disease. Relaxing is a lot easier said than done. Though, if you're eager to start this new chapter in your life, it is so crucial. And that's why, in this video, I'm going to talk about ways that you can reduce stress. Maintaining a positive mindset and not being so hard on yourself will also help keep you from turning to vices if and when you face challenges along the way. For example, it is such a crappy feeling when you're hoping for positive news and then you get your period. However, it's not the end of the world and it is so important for your mental well-being that we don't treat it as such. We all all have vices that we turn to when we are upset, but getting overly upset at the bumps in the road will cause us to turn to things that aren't so great for our health and wellness, especially our fertility. Such vices include drinking, smoking, or eating unhealthy, or even just foregoing exercise altogether. Although having a drink every once in a while while trying to conceive isn't going to stop you from getting pregnant, this can add up, and all these vices together can contribute to making it more difficult for you to conceive. Staying away from substances like alcohol, tobacco, and even lessening your caffeine usage can all help you throughout your journey to motherhood. Stress isn't all in your head. It manifests in our bodies too, which is why monitoring your stress levels is so important while trying to conceive. In the next section, I'm going to talk about how managing your stress levels is so important for your baby's development too. no surprise that if stress can impact your physical health, it can affect baby's health too. Fetal brain scans taken during a recent study found that the stress a woman experiences during pregnancy can impact infant brain development in utero. Other clinical studies have also supported this, showing that women who experience high levels of stress, anxiety, and depression are linked to impaired neurobehavioral functions in their children. 
Mamas who experience prolonged periods of stress have also been linked to premature births. Giving birth before your baby comes to full term can be dangerous, seeing as every day that your baby spends in utero is crucial for their growth and development. Short-term complications that premature infants can experience include respiratory problems, low blood pressure, and even temperature regulation and difficulties. Long-term complications can include things such as cerebral palsy, impaired vision, impaired hearing, learning disabilities, or even dental or behavioral problems. Maternal stress has been linked to attention deficit hyperactive disorder, conduct disorder, and even emotional complications. So, what does this mean for you, pre-mama? It means that your emotional health and wellness is more important than ever. Again, it's only natural to experience some stress on your journey to motherhood. But what's really important is that you practice mindfulness and check in with yourself. This allows you to recognize your stress triggers and when you are upset. Identifying these stressful situations helps you come up with a plan to maintain your positivity and minimize your stress. I couldn't have done it alone and you don't have to either. All right, pure mamas. Now we get to talk about things that you can do to maintain a positive mindset while trying to conceive. One thing that really helped me stay positive on my journey to conceive was finding a community of support. It's been a lot harder to see friends and family members due to the pandemic, but there are so many helpful outlets out there for you to connect with other women and learn how to maintain a positive mindset and understand that you're all in this together even though your situations may be a little bit different. There are also plenty of physical activities that you can do to reduce stress while trying to conceive. Things such as implementing a nightly or weekly bubble bath, lighting some candles, setting the mood, and warm water will relax your body, relax your mind, and maybe even get you and your partner in the mood. Practicing yoga has also been shown to reduce stress as it's a low impact activity. It helps you slow down and gain mental clarity. My last piece of advice while trying to conceive is to slow down and highlight the tiny wins along the way. Getting pregnant is not always an instant thing. Comparison can truly be the thief of joy, especially on your conceived journey. It's so important to remember that pregnancy and your journey to pregnancy will look differently for everyone. Having a baby is truly your end goal, so it's so important to celebrate all the tiny wins along the way. Picking up healthy habits is a tiny win. Incorporating a prenatal vitamin into your routine every single day is also a tiny win. Quitting habits such as smoking, drinking, or decreasing your caffeine intake, that's a tiny win. Getting pregnant can truly take some work, and you deserve to pat yourself on the back every step of the way. Celebrating tiny wins will really help you keep a positive mindset and stay motivated along the way. There's no denying that the journey to motherhood can be stressful, but you owe it to yourself and your baby to not put too much pressure on yourself. This is an exciting time in your life, and in the end, it'll all be worth it. So be kind to yourself along the way. If you'd like to learn more about physical and mental wellness best practices, diet and nutrition for fertility support, and advice on family planning, and loving yourself on this journey to motherhood. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Our team is dedicated to helping pre-mamas like you, and we would so love to be a part of your journey. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos on pregnancy planning, prepping, and postpartum. Wherever you're at in your journey, it helps to have a community of support. That's why the Pre-Mama team has created virtual support groups for every step in your journey to motherhood. Our Journey to Motherhood Facebook groups are places where women can share their victories and their struggles, as well as swap stories, insights, and wellness tips that can make all the difference on this adventure. The links to join are in the description below, and I hope to see you there. See you next time.